फ्यूचर मेडिकल्स हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग आर वी लाइव इफ एनीबडी कैन से अ थम्स अप और यस इफ यू कैन हियर माय वॉइस इफ यू कैन सी मी वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर क्लास सो आई होप आई एम लाइव सो यू ऑल कैन सी मी सो एम आई विजिबल इज माय ऑडियो इज क्लियर देन वी कैन स्टार्ट सो टुडेस क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लास एंड आई प्रोमिस्ड यू दैट दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट वेरी लाइट फॉर यू ऑल just listen to today's class and you will definitely feel light about vernier calipers and screw gauge i'm going to make it so light that just understand the concept and then you can do the problems okay so vernier calipers and screw gauge belongs to the part of units and measurements okay teaching very slow ma'am please complete fast yes we have to uh, speed up but don't worry your examinations are may on may 7th right neat examination is on may 7th uh yes ma'am okay so i am live uh, we will continue anyways your examination is on may 7th right so for may 7th if you have to prepare you still have 30 days in your hands by may 1st if we complete our syllabus from may 1st to may 6th we have 5 days you can take full revision we can do brush up through the entire syllabus that will help you a lot so within 13 day, 30 days i'm going to finish all the topics for you all don't worry along with the pyqs so without much ado let's get started with today's class so welcome to vedantu neat english channel this is your master teacher rama devi in physics okay so i'm going to start today's class we are going to start about vernier calipers and screw gauge right so in vernier calipers and screw gauge let's get started with first vernier calipers why do we need first of all these vernier calipers and screw gauge mains ma'am for je mains also can you take one shot ma'am yes that can be done in telugu channel uh, here this is a neat uh, purpose channel so here we go only with neat okay so uh, let us uh, start with vernier calipers first of all let me make it very clear one thing should be in your mind that why do we need this vernier calipers and screw gauge why do we need this vernier calipers and screw gauge is because by using normal scale if you can see normal scale do you remember normal scale so by using normal scale what is the least measurement that you can measure the least measurement that we can measure is only 1 mm or 0.1 cm but what if if i have to measure something which is 2.57 cm can i measure 2.57 cm by using normal scale no i cannot measure because normal scale reads only till 2.5 right so what if i want to measure the measurements which are smaller than 1 mm there comes the use of vernier calipers and screw gauge now before i get into original topic let me give you an outline so keep focusing that what you have to learn if you go thinking too deep too logically then you will find that this topic is uh, uh, very tough but otherwise see what you have to understand in these topics is for both vernier calipers and screw gauge you just have to see what are the various types of scales in these instruments how to calculate the least count and how to use the formula that's it and okay error also we need to calculate so only four things if you understand that's it this uh, topic is over what is the first thing identify the scales in vernier calipers and screw gauge second thing how to calculate least count for this you need to memorize the formula third thing how to use the final formula fourth thing is how to use errors four topics clear this topic is over done okay so we'll start with the vernier calipers so vernier calipers why the name has come calipers meaning instrument which measures vernier is name of scientist pierre vernier so because vernier uncle he has worked so much about uh, uh, making this vernier caliper so basing on that uncle's efforts his name is considered and it is named as vernier calipers okay so first of all vernier calipers contains 
two scales. Remember, vernier calipers contains two scales. Semiconductor one shot is going tomorrow. Please care, Adi, ma'am. Okay, next classes. But yeah, see, everybody have their own recommendations. What I am going to do is first I will be finishing some important topics from first year, and then some important topics from second year. As we have discussed earlier, first lesson, first video class, I told category one. So I am going to definitely finish all the category one topics one by one. So don't worry about it. I will definitely complete all those things. Anyways, every vernier calipers contains mainly it contains two scales. Okay, one scale is called main scale, and the other scale is called vernier scale. Okay, the other one is called vernier scale. This understanding you should be having. Okay, so main scale is just like your normal scale. I hope you know how to handle your normal scale. So how you measure with your normal scale? The same way main scale also measures. Now what is vernier scale? You can see that the if you see the construction, these two are called jaws. This is called jaw. So whatever instrument or measurement you want to take, the object is placed in between the jaws, and the readings are taken here. Now here you can see there is a division here. Can you all see this region? Here you can see there are certain number of divisions you can see. So this division is called vernier scale. Inside this whatever you see, this continues like this. So this whole thing continues like this. So you need to understand a little bit. Uh, this is the most critical part of this uh, vernier calipers. If you understand the structure, it is done over. Okay. So here there are two scales. You can see. See this scale started here. It continued like this. So this is main scale, and the movable jaw. This contains number of divisions. This is called vernier scale. So first thing you should remember that there is main scale, there is vernier scale. Main scale is just like normal scale. That means zero centimeters, one centimeter, two centimeter, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It goes on, and you can see that there is zero line and next line. What is this distance? Is this distance is nothing but one millimeter, or it is also equals to zero point one centimeter. If this much is getting into your brains, that's it. It is done. So here, from this, from this, what can I conclude? From this, what can I conclude is, from this, can I write one main scale division? What is MSD? Mahendra Singh Dhoni? No. What is MSD? Main scale division. Please note down this terminology also. New terminology. So, what is one MSD is one main scale division, and you can clearly see what is one main scale division equals to one main scale division is nothing but one millimeter, or if you want in centimeters, it is zero point one centimeters. So, I hope you all are having a copy with you, and you are noting down also. Listen and note down. At the same time, so that there will be a coordination between your body and brain, and you will be active, and you will be learning also. Anyway, have you understood what is one MSD? MSD is Mahendra Singh Dhoni. No, it is main scale division. Okay, so one main scale division is calculated like that. One division on main scale. This is the main scale. So one division on main scale is called one main scale division. Okay, next uh, vernier calipers is also divided into equal number of parts. Usually, vernier calipers is divided into ten equal divisions. These are number of divisions ten, twenty, fifty divisions also will be there. It depends on the problem. But usually, we will be having ten equal divisions. Okay, so this is the basic structure of vernier calipers. Rest of the parts are not required. Whatever is required for us, only that much we will take. Okay, so uh, next, uh, what is required is the most important point to be learnt is least count. What is least count? The minimum or the minimum or the least measurement. The least measurement 
दैट कैन बी मेड दैट कैन बी मेड बाई यूजिंग बाई यूजिंग एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट बाय यूजिंग एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट वॉट इज द लीस्ट मेजरमेंट दैट यू कैन टेक दैट इज कॉल्ड लीस्ट काउंट बिकॉज इन द फॉर्मुला ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ वेनियर कैलपर्स वी हैव लीस्ट काउंट सो दिस डेफिनेशन इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड देन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट लीस्ट काउंट फॉर वेनियर कैलिपर्स वी हैव वेरियस फॉर्मुले सो गो ऑन नोटिंग डाउन फर्स्ट गो ऑन नोटिंग डाउन देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू यू ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुला टू कैलकुलेट लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ वेनियर कैलिपर्स एल सी रिप्रेजेंट्स लीस्ट काउंट ओके सो द फर्स्ट फॉर्मुला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द लीस्ट काउंट इज वन मेन स्केल डिविजन बाई number of vernier scale divisions so these codes please try to understand one main scale division by number of vernier scale divisions okay so yes uh, vijay thank you for uh, sharing this message yes it is very much uh, useful to everyone so everybody if you can share this link to your friends and if they come to know that this class is happening everybody will be it will be very helpful to all of you all okay so now moving on to Uh, ma'am will you cover pyqs on screw gauge and vernier calipers in this session yes definitely in this session pyqs also will be done okay the first and foremost important formula for least count is one main scale division by number of vernier scale divisions next there is one more formula for least count that is one least count is equal to one main scale division minus one vernier scale division this is one okay one main scale division minus one vernier scale division this is also another formula for least count these are just memory based a small request to memorize these formula now here comes our analysis that is now if you observe carefully it is always in a vernier calipers the number of main scale divisions span is more and the number of vernier scale division span is very less okay so basing on that it is observed that n vernier scale divisions is equal to n minus 1 main scale divisions why did i write n vernier scale divisions is equal to n minus 1 main scale divisions the reason is because it is always vernier calipers is always made in such a way that the number of divisions on vernier scale is equal to always for example if i have a vernier scale which contains 10 divisions then that main scale contains only 9 divisions if i have a vernier scale which contains 20 divisions then that vernier calipers main scale contains only 19 divisions it is made like that okay because the value of main scale division one main scale division is greater than the value of one vernier scale division so even if you don't understand also don't think too deeply in it just go on taking it so n vernier scale divisions is equal to n minus 1 main scale divisions now let us see one thing here one vernier scale division is there no so n vernier scale divisions is equal to n minus 1 main scale divisions then one vernier scale division is equal to this n transposes n minus 1 by n number of main scale divisions you can leave it like this or you can just make a modification one vernier scale division is equal to just divide individually n by n 1 minus 1 by n main scale divisions now substitute this here so lc is equal to one main scale division minus in place of one vsd i will substitute this 1 minus 1 by n msd main scale divisions okay so now you can take out one msd common if you want so one main scale division or just multiply 1 into msd minus 1 main scale division minus into minus plus 1 by n main scale divisions so 1 msd 1 msd gets cancelled what are we remaining with 1 by n main scale divisions it is lc another formula 
So finally, for least count, how many formula you have to learn? You have to learn totally three formula. Point, formula number one, formula number two and formula number three. Even if you don't remember this whole process also, there is no problem. But yes, one, two, three, these formula you memorize, your problems are done. But not completely done. One more formula is remaining. Okay, so uh, teach uh, after units and dimensions also. Ma'am, what is next lesson you are going to teach? Yes, after units and dimensions, I will be. Okay, just let me quickly tell you what is my strategy. After units and dimensions, I will be teaching uh, kinematics 1D and 2D. Uh, what is required for NEET? Only that topics we will be taking. After kinematics 1D and 2D, we will be shifting to the thermal properties of matter, thermodynamics, heat transfer. Because you know how much weightage is there for NEET in heat track. Nearly 9 to 11% of questions come from heat track. So, after units and dimensions, I will be taking kinematics, both 1D and 2D. After that, heat track will start. Please remember all these topics, minimum 2 to 4 questions topics. So, you have to pay attention. Anyway, is this very clear? Is this uh, slide clear to you all? If you can just give me a thumbs up, I will be moving on. Okay, so this please remember. Now moving on to the steps to be followed. So after calculating the LC. So first see how calculations are done. These are the steps we will be following to solve problems also. Okay, first thing find the least count. Did we find out or not? We have found out the least count. First thing find the least count. Any instrument First thing you need to do is find the least count. We already found out least count that is done. Next, take main scale reading. So first next step main scale reading. MSR you need to note down. Please note down these steps. It is very important. In the same method we are going to do the problems also. Problem solving steps. These are nothing but problem solving steps. So please note them down. So first step calculate the least count. Second step calculate the main scale reading and then take the vernier coincidence. So how main scale reading is taken? How vernier coincidence is taken? I will be telling you please pay very much attention and listen very clearly. Pay very much attention, Amma. This is the most important point to be noted. Okay. So, here, whenever we place an object, you can see that there is an object placed in between the jaws. Before placing the object, these two jaws are together. So, when these two jaws are together, this part comes here, right? So, whenever this part comes here, when no object is there, first thing is, when no object when no object is between the jaws between the jaws when no object is there between the jaws zero of vernier scale coincides with zero of main scale zero of vernier scale this is the zero line of uh, sorry, this is the zero line of, let me erase this, okay. So, this is the zero line of vernier scale, this is the zero line of main scale, these two will be coinciding like this, when no object is between them, okay. So, these two are coinciding like this, now object is placed, so they moved. After moving, now comes the most important point, please carefully listen. How to cal take the main scale reading? I am going to tell you how to take the main scale reading after the object is placed. Now, after the object is placed, you can see that the zero line of uh, vernier scale moved here. This is the zero line of vernier scale. Now, see, this zero line of vernier scale is coinciding with which line on main scale? Main scale means you should take the reading on main scale only. Okay, so now this is the line it is coinciding. Now check, this is 3, I can see 3 centimeter line. So this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means this is 2.5 centimeter line. Am I clear? This line is 2.5 centimeter line. That means in this main scale reading is nothing but 2.5 centimeters. 
Diagram understanding is very much important because in uh, examinations, diagram based questions also will be given. You need to identify from diagram which one is uh, main scale reading, which one is near coincidence. Okay. So, have you understood how to take main scale reading? Main scale reading is taken only on main scale after the object is placed. Okay. So, what is next step? Take vernier coincidence. After calculating main scale, you should take vernier coincidence. So, how do we take vernier coincidence is? Apart from zero line on vernier scale, listen carefully. Apart from zero line on vernier scale, go on checking. There will be one line which is exactly coinciding with any line on main scale. We see vernier coincidence that means any line on vernier scale is coinciding exactly with any line on main scale apart from zero line. Now this line on vernier scale you will read it as vernier coincidence. Is it clear? This is the only critical part in vernier calpus. If this is clear everything is done. Even if not also, just wait for the PYQ. Even if you don't understand, if, if you feel this is a little bit confusing also, don't worry. While doing PYQ, I'll tell you just how to identify and solve problem. Okay. So, coming to this, now the most important point is the measurement. So, why do we use vernier calipers first of all? What is the use of vernier calipers? to measure the length or thickness or diameter. Remember, you don't measure radius, you measure diameter of any object, any given object. Okay, you have to measure the diameter of a spear. Then place the spear between the jaws. Next, you want to measure the length of any uh, object. Place the object between the jaws. So either length or thickness or diameter can be measured by using vernier calipers. Now for all these measurement of length, thickness, diameter, there is only one formula that is MSR plus VC into LC. That's it. MSR plus VC into LC. What is MSR? Mahindra Singh Dhoni. No. Main scale reading. LC. Least count. VC. Vernier coincidence. So just identify in your problem what is main scale reading, what is least count, what is vernier calipers. Coincidence. Vernier coincidence and MSR will be given in the problem. LC you have to calculate. Any problem first thing you need to calculate LC. How to calculate LC already we discussed. Yes, now comes the important point. Correct the measurements if any zero errors exist. Yes, another important point is to find the zero error. So what is this zero error? There are two types of errors we find in uh, vernier calipers or screw gauge. That is positive error and negative error. Okay. So, what is uh, zero error? Without zero error, how to identify what is zero error? Let me tell you. Without any zero error meaning main scale zero and vernier scale zero, they just have to coincide. Main scale zero, vernier scale zero, they just have to coincide when no object is between jaws. When no object is placed, when no object is placed between the jaws, when the jaws are together, the vernier scale zero and main scale zero have to exactly coincide. But it might not happen every time. Because of various reasons, after long usage of vernier calipers or manufacturing uh, problems might come up. So, because of that, these errors will be coming up. Okay. So, errors, I said two types of errors are there. How to identify positive error? Now, this is not happening. So, what else can happen? This will not move, but this might not move this side or this side. 
so this is nothing but what is this this line is nothing but main scale zero this line is nothing but main scale zero line what is this zero line this zero line is vernier scale zero line now see clearly when vernier scale zero line is to the right of main scale we say this right so when we stand here this is right and this is left so you also have to check your notebooks like that only uh, i had uh, waiting for lots of time again and watch this channel but physics teaching video varala ma'am vare uh tomorrow onwards i promise you that every day there will be a physics class i'm very sorry for yesterday uh, sharvanan sorry very sorry for uh, for that but tomorrow onwards today class anyway happening tomorrow onwards regularly you will be having classes anyway so this is zero line so how do we say positive zero error when the zero line of vernier scale is towards the right of main scale zero line towards the right of main scale zero line then we say that the error is positive whenever the error is positive the correction the correction is negative whenever the error is positive correction negative so you will need to correct for example if it is going like this it is measuring extra so it is measuring extra so that much extra you should remove from your original one because there is a defect in the instrument in solving calculation we have to do the correction i hope you are getting it original length of a uh, uh, length of a body let us take ma'am please take a minute and explain physics daily schedule of chapters please ma'am so far so i have already told you coming up classes you will be getting kinematics motion in one dimension motion in two dimension after kinematics is done we will go with thermal properties of matter thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases so far for next 5 days this is the schedule that will be going okay so ma'am if now i start physics enala 180 vaanga mudiyuma yes you can get only it depends on your hard work uh, because you are not in front of me i don't know how much you are practicing but if you can decide it is not impossible okay but large amount of hard work is needed large, large amount of dedication sincerity hard work these three things will definitely give you success so if you try nothing is impossible mudiyum okay anyways have you understood this uh, okay what i am telling is positive zero error meaning when this type of error is there you will be measuring extra extra amount but we need correct measurement so whatever it is showing extra that much amount we will remove from the reading calculation okay so that is why what's the time of your class on youtube uh, please come to vedantu tamil channel enala tamil பேச வராது ஸோ ஐ கேன் ஸ்பீக் ஓன்லி இன் இங்கிலீஷ் ஆர் தெலுங்கு ஸோ ஐ ஃபீல் லைக் ஐ குட் குட் மார்க்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஆஃப்டர் வாட்சிங் யூ யூ ஸோ ஹாவ் யூ இஃப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் மை இங்கிலீஷ் பிகாஸ் ஐ ஸ்பீக் வெரி லைட் இங்கிலீஷ் ஐ டோன்ட் யூஸ் மச் ஹெவி வேர்ட்ஸ் ஸோ இஃப் நாட் தமிழ் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் ஃபாலோ ஹியர் ஐ வில் ரெகுலர்லி போஸ்ட் ஐ ப்ராமிஸ் தட் ஐ வில் ரெகுலர்லி போஸ்ட் த கிளாஸஸ் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கண்டினியூ ஐ ஹோப் யூ காட் திஸ் ஸோ பிகாஸ் டு ரிமூவ் தட் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா பாசிட்டிவ் எரர் we need to do negative correction just remember positive error negative correction negative error yes positive correction okay so how to do this correction first thing is identify id step number 1 identify number of uh, digit number of uh, what we can say lines number of lines gone right right means towards right towards right okay right is not tick mark towards right side how many divisions it has moved towards right side now second thing what you do is multiply multiply lc least count with these 
with these number of digits. First, identify how many digits it has gone side. Voice is not coming. Is it right? My voice is okay, I guess. So, my voice is okay. Maybe your network problem. Once check la Lakshart. Right? Okay. So, so, have you understood this? First thing. Now, see in this diagram how many digits it has gone. One digit is it is gone aside. So, 1 into multiply with LC. That is what your error. Okay? So, that error you need to subtract. I will give you example problems also. Don't worry about it. We will do PYQ, then you will definitely develop how you are uh, going to do the problems. First, understand the concept and let us move on. You will definitely understand, you will definitely solve problems. Don't worry, don't be in confusion, just go on listening to the class. Next, positive error is over, now negative error. So, this is the original condition we know, without any error, matlab, meaning, okay, this is in white color. Okay, without any error meaning the zero of main scale should coincide with zero of vernier scale. But now previously the reading has gone towards right. Now you can see that this is the zero line of main scale. This is the zero line of vernier scale. Now it has moved towards left. So whenever the zero line of vernier scale moves towards the left of the main scale, then we say that it is negative error. For negative error, the correction is positive. The correction is positive because in this situation, the device will measure lesser amount. Now, how much ever it is showing less amount, that much we have to re-add. For that only we take the positive correction. Here also same. How many digits it has gone towards left? Find the number of digits. Multiply with LC. Add to the final answer. What is the final answer? Final answer is always main scale reading plus vernier coincidence into LC. This is the final reading. To this final reading, you will do plus or minus zero correction. Okay, so this is the procedure what we are going to follow. First, apply to the normal formula. To that, plus or minus, if it is positive error, negative correction will be done. If it is negative error, positive correction will be done. Just till now, you till this much you understand, that much is enough. Keep in mind, I will tell you how to do this also. Now, moving on to screw gauge. Just learn, okay, screw gauge. Screw gauge is also just like time of your live class on YouTube. Every day it won't be live class, okay. So, theory plus questions of your later sessions. Yes, every day session will contain theory and PYQs as well, okay. Time of my live class is not yet fixed because I am dealing two channels. My timings are clashing. So, very soon I will let you know one uh, proper timing. Please tell me the timing is good uh, for morning sessions or evening sessions, then accordingly I will plan. Just tell me in the comments you want the video sessions in the morning or in the evening sessions. Okay. Now moving on to screw gauge. Yes, screw gauge is also another instrument. Now by using vernier calipers, what is the least count whatever we have calculated? The least count of vernier calipers is usually 0 0.01 centimeters. That means after decimal, we can calculate up to two digits. But if I want to measure lesser than that, then comes the screw gauge. Okay, if I morning session, so all of you want morning, somebody wants in the evening, somebody wants in the morning. So, majority we will go, just keep on typing, uh, texting, I will go with the majority. End of the class, I will tell you my, when my sessions are going to be premiered. Just keep on telling me how, what time is sub, uh, mean convenient for you all, morning time or evening time. Anyway, here, why screw gauge when vernier calipers is there? The reason is, by using vernier calipers, we can measure up to only two decimal points. But what if I have to measure less than that? Then comes the screw gauge. So by using screw gauge, I can measure up to three decimal points. 
okay i can measure up to three decimal points that is the reason why we have screw gauge vernier calipers how many scales are there two scales main scale vernier scale similarly screw gauge also has a two scales screw gauge also has two scales one is main scale the other one is thimble scale it is written but you can take circular scale circular scale or head scale circular scale or head scale because it will have circle here there will be a circle and you can see on that circle these lines are there okay so circular scale contains usually 0 to 100 divisions circular scale contains usually 0 to 100 divisions now this is a main scale you can see a line going like this okay on this 0 1 2 3 4 Four like this numbers will be there. There will be numbers just written. So here this is measured in millimeters only. Remember in screw gauge the readings are never in centimeters. These are all in millimeters. This is only number zero to hundred numbers will be there. Now screw gauge also whenever we take any instrument you know that. Ma'am, I completed eleventh and twelfth part two lesson, and I'm pending with the twelfth part one syllabus. And is that very important for NEET score to one fifty plus, ma'am? Second year part is very important because in second year you have current electricity, optics track, mode and physics, the most important. So you have to uh, complete the second year part also. Crash course you will cover category one chapters before May seventh. Not only category one, I will complete cat category two also before May first. Before May first, I will complete category one and category two. Both chapters I will be finishing. Okay? Yes, millimeters only we will have here. This is the so basically you just understand that in vernier calipers main scale vernier scale in screw gauge. main scale and circular scale circular scale is also called head scale so please remember this this much is enough you can see that whatever object we want to measure that is placed between the jaws when there is no object when the jaws are together when there is no object when the jaws are together the zero line of the circular scale should coincide with this line the zero line of circular scale should coincide like this then we say that there is no error otherwise there is a error okay so now moving on to the next part whenever we have an instrument obviously we need to calculate the least count okay so how to calculate least count for that the formula is for in case of screw gauge in case of screw gauge the formula for least count is least count is equal to pitch by number of circular scale division or head scale divisions also you can use hope you understood so pitch by number of circular scale divisions now what is this pitch that also separate formula you should learn pitch is equal to number of okay sorry no pitch is equal to distance moved pitch is equal to distance moved by number of rotations distance moved by number of rotations because if you observe screw gauge screw gauge the name itself tells you that it works on screw in a nut so when you are see for example this is nut this is a screw you just have to rotate the screw to fit when you are rotating you will observe that the screw is moving horizontally so how many number of rotations how much distance it moved got it how many number of rotations how much distance it moved that is what this pitch meaning distance moved by number of rotations how many number of rotations screw is moved and how much distance it has advanced okay so yes pitch by capital n so this is nothing but capital n number of cir circular scale divisions how is that pitch calculated distance moved by number of rotations that pitch is calculated like that
and screw gauge is also used uh, screw gauge is also used to find length thickness length thickness and the diameter remember here we will not measure radius we will measure only diameter formula is main scale reading plus lc into circular scale division uh, whenever zero error is there plus or minus zero correction that is also included so this is the formula you have to memorize similarly like vernier scale formula only so it will be easy only for you now let us quickly see what are the positive error and negative error i hope this uh, picture is clear for you this picture is no zero error picture this picture indicates when no zero error when no zero error meaning the zero line you can see this is the circular scale this is nothing but the circular scale so circular scale zero line is coinciding with the zero line of main scale you can see index line we call this is no zero error but because you are teaching very slow ma'am okay if i go very fast also people might get confused so otherwise okay let us go faster now here comes the zero error this is no zero error condition now whenever the uh, head the circular scale zero is going down below the zero line this is called positive zero error okay whenever positive zero error is there what is the correction negative correction so for a positive zero error the correction the correction is negative for a positive zero error the correction is negative now what is negative zero error the zero line goes up this is the main scale uh, zero line now zero goes up this is negative zero error whenever negative zero error is there the correction the correction is positive okay the correction is positive how do we do the correction how many number of lines it has gone up here you can see two lines it is gone up so 2 into lc how many lines gone down 10 lines gone down 10 into lc okay so that is how we calculate i hope these are very much clear to you all then shall we start the pyq session are you all ready just take pen and paper and try to solve before me or along with me but you will definitely get it just see how we solve okay now this is a vernier calipers one in a certain vernier calipers 25 divisions on vernier scale have same length as 24 divisions on main scale do you are you getting anything here 25 vernier scale divisions 24 main scale divisions so this is what we have uh, learned no n vernier scale divisions is equal to n minus 1 main scale divisions this is given like that so here 25 vernier scale divisions is equal to 24 main scale divisions that is what given in the problem now one division on main scale is 1 mm long what is given what else is given is one main scale division is equal to 1 mm this is what given first always start writing given information automatically you will understand how to solve so this is what given one main scale division is 1 mm long find the least count of the instrument what is the formula for least count i can use here what is the least count i can use here is one main scale division minus one vernier scale division this is the easy formula i can select no so how to select formula depends on given information now here i cannot select one main scale division by number of vernier scale divisions because number of vernier scale divisions are not given so this is the suitable formula so here now the, from this what i can conclude is one vernier scale division is equal to 24 by transpose this here 25 main scale divisions now substitute here our problem is done one main scale division minus in place of this 24 by 25 main scale divisions i hope you can solve from this take out one main scale division out 1 minus 24 by 25 into 
main scale division. What is one main scale division? One millimeter. So, what is this? One by twenty-five into one millimeter. So, from this, conclude what should be the answer. What should be the answer? Yes, very good. Zero point zero four millimeter. Sharvanan has already done. Man, you are back. Very good. So, this is the answer. Next. A screw gauge. This is a screw gauge problem. Gives readings when used to measure the diameter of a wire. Okay. Main scale reading already given. So what is given? That we will write here. What is given? Main scale reading is zero point zero millimeter. Okay. We'll take like that only. Circular scale reading is circular scale divisions is fifty two divisions. Given that one mm on main scale corresponds to hundred divisions on the circular scale. Why is this given for us? One main scale division corresponds to hundred uh, main uh, circular scale divisions is to calculate the least count. Okay, that is given to calculate the least count diameter of the wire. We need to find out. Okay, what is the formula to find first of all diameter? What is the formula? MSR plus CSD into LC, circular scale division into LC. MSR I know, CSD I know. I just have to find out least count. So how to find least count? Least count is equal to pitch by number of divisions. So one mm by hundred. One mm by hundred. That is nothing but zero point zero one mm. So just take what is MSR? Zero point zero plus CSD is fifty two into zero point zero one mm. Your answer is in mm or centimeter. Just check. You have to get it in centimeter. So don't forget mm. You have to convert into centimeter. Can you tell me the answer now? Yes, zero point zero five two centimeters. Vijay five fifty superb. Very good. So next two full turns of circular scale of screw gauge. Cover a distance of one mm on scale. Now, by reading the first sentence itself, you have to get the idea. First sentence, two turns. Ikada uh, here, sorry, here it is given number of turns, distance travelled. Whenever it is given number of turns, distance travelled, you need to calculate the pitch. So, first thing is. What is given information helps you to is to find the pitch. Pitch formula. Uh, distance moved which formula is distance moved by number of divisions distance moved by number of divisions what is distance moved 1 mm how many number of turns two turns not number of divisions it is number of turns how many number of turns two turns so 1 by 2 is 0.5 mm So first sentence is given to calculate the pitch. Now how do you come to know? Only by knowing the formula. That's it. Now okay. Next, the total number of divisions on circular scale is fifty. So that is given to find LC because LC formula is pitch by number of divisions zero point five mm by how many number of divisions fifty. So this will give you answer of uh, what is the answer we get zero point zero one mm. So we have found out what is least count. Next, now zero error is minus zero point zero three. So what is given here is negative error. Negative error is minus zero point zero three. For negative error, what is the correction? Positive correction. Remember, so positive correction. We need to do positive correction. So formula is MSR plus CSD into LC. This is positive correction. So plus zero point zero three. You need to do. Now will you solve on your own? And can you tell me quickly which answer you will be getting? What is main scale reading? Main scale reading three mm. You can see main scale reading three mm. All are in millimeters. That also we have to check. Plus what is circular scale division? Uh, 35. You can see here circular scale division 35 into LC is 0.01 plus 0.03. Calculate the answer. Find out on your own. Yes, 3.38 seven and super. Next, 
the circular scale division of shown screw gauge r50 number of divisions on circular scale given as 50 i hope this is clear to you this is without error zero line is uh, coinciding with fifth line you can see here maybe you cannot see but here the number of line is 5 you can see there is no object there is object this is the object placed here there is no object there is object when there is no object actually zero have to coincide but fifth line is coinciding zero went down zero went down meaning positive error zero went down meaning positive error is there in this diagram so correction is negative so correction should be negative next from this information you can what you can have to see is maybe it is not that clear to you i will draw the, this is zero line one two so after placing the object it has moved so what is the line is seen here two second line that means what is main scale reading here main scale reading is two mm did you get it this is how we solve the problems after placing the object second line is visible so main scale reading is 2 millimeter now here it is 25th line you cannot see maybe this is 25th line it is written that means what is circular scale division you can see 25 so what is the formula we have to use msr plus c s d into l c correction is positive now what is the least count least count we need to calculate it moves 0 0.5 mm on main scale in one rotation that means pitch is given so pitch 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 is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 mm by one rotation that is equal to 0 0.5 mm so lc is equal to 0 0.5 mm by number of divisions what is number how much is number of divisions telegram link is not opening so today end of class last uh, slide i am going to provide telegram uh, qr code this is the original qr code please try it with uh, today's link number of divisions how many given 50 so again what we got 0 0.01 mm just to substitute and do now what is the correction i have to error how much 5 kada so you need to multiply 5 into 0 0.01 positive error 0 0.05 so correction you have to do negative correction minus 0 0.05 now go on substituting what is main scale reading 2 millimeter plus circular square division 25 into lc 0 0.01 minus 0 0.05 all are in millimeters options are also in millimeters no need to change have you done sarvanan 2.25 millimeters is it correct or not let's check no 1.20 oh very wait 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 here i made a small mistake this is not this one because it is not 100 divisions 50 divisions no sorry for that 50 divisions so 2 into 0 0.5 millimeters please remember this yeah at least with this mistake we need to remember uh, using telugu language kada yes sometimes my original language comes out of by mistake or by flow so please excuse if i get certain telugu words here and there but i hope my english is very clear to you all anyways so sarvanan please remember there is a mistake i made if it is 100 divisions we can take directly but it is only 50 divisions whenever it is 50 divisions you need to multiply with 0 0.5 so this is uh, 0 0.5 that much that means 0 0.1 okay so make a correction over here next the pitch of screw gauge is 1.0 mm and there are 100 divisions on the circular scale so directly we can calculate lc pitch by number of divisions so pitch is given as 1.0 millimeter by number of divisions 100 so it is uh, 0 0.01 millimeter so least count directly given while measuring diameter of a wire 
the linear scale linear scale meaning main scale reading okay so the main scale reading reads 1 mm so main scale reading is equal to 1 mm here number of divisions 100 so we can directly take 1 mm for the seventh division on the circular scale coincides so circular scale division is nothing but 47 next the length of wire is given as 5.6 centimeters find wire's curved surface what we need to find is find wire's curved surface area curved surface area wire will be always in cylindrical shape so the formula is pi into d into l diameter into length so length already given l is equal to how much is given 5.6 centimeters we just have to find out diameter can you solve this problem on your own can you solve this problem on your own can you please show me some thumbs up are you all active are you all doing problems or not if you don't solve problems along with me then it will be a problem for you yes because in physics you have to put pen on your own on the paper and solve not just by seeing if you just see uh, you cannot solve you have to put your pen on paper okay so can you solve this now uh, how do we find diameter d is equal to msr plus csd into lc so msr is 1 millimeter plus csd is 47 into 0 0.01 then you have to substitute here this is not yet done when you find out this again you need to substitute here pi into d into l again you need to substitute here okay note down the this is the answer you need to get 2.6 centimeter square you have to get our answer we are getting in millimeter please convert into centimeter next consider a screw gauge without any zero error happy there is no zero error no need of calculation what will be the final reading corresponding to the uh, diagram shown here if, if you can't see the diagram i'll make it clear to you this line here it is given 45 okay this line here it is given 45 the circular scale has 100 divisions here it says the circular scale has 100 divisions so happily we can say take this as 2 now it is given that circular head translates p msd in n rotations p main scale divisions in n rotations uh, then 1 msd equal to 1 mm main scale division also given as 1 mm how many lines we can see 1 2 so what is main scale reading it is 2 mm main scale reading is 2 mm and what is lc lc is nothing but p by n you can see this lc how do you calculate lc p by n lc we have to calculate as p by n now we need to write the formula msr plus csd into lc no zero error at all msr is nothing but 2 plus what is csd is 47 but so what is it ah, 45 sorry 45 so 45 by 100 plus lc is p by n so this is the answer find out where is it because it is in millimeters we need to write this so which is the correct answer did we get the correct answer or not okay next the pitch of a screw gauge is one millimeter and there are 100 divisions so when it is given directly lc is equal to pitch by number of divisions pitch is one millimeter by 100 divisions are there next when nothing is put with between the jaws the zero of circular scale lies six divisions below the reference line so that indicates is it positive error or negative error did you identify or not is it positive error or negative error below the reference line below the reference line indicates which error can you tell me below the reference line uh, indicates which error below the reference line indicates uh, positive error below the reference line indicates positive error so for positive error you need to do the negative correction now when wire is placed the jaws two linear scale divisions are clearly visible 100 so we can take main scale reading as a 2 millimeter and 62 divisions on circular scale so csd is equal to 62 
LC we already calculated as 0.01 millimeter. Answer also is in millimeter, so there is no problem in it. How to calculate error here? Error is equal to 6 into LC, 0.01 millimeter. Now the error is positive, so correction. So what is correction? Correction is minus 0.06 mm. Correction is minus 0.06 mm. Now just uh, find the diameter. Diameter formula MSR plus CSD into LC minus 0.06. So will you do this? Can you do this? Okay. So please solve from here. You will get the answer. And note down the answer also you have to get plus 2.56 so this I hope you can do it. Find the zero correction. We only have to find the zero correction in the given figure. Can you see the figure? Is it clear to you? Can you see the figure? We only have to find the zero correction. This is the most easiest question we have got. So you can see that the zero line is not coinciding with zero line. So it is first of all, is it positive error or negative error? Because we can eliminate option. So is it positive error or negative error? It is on right side. So when it is on right side, first of all error in this figure is positive. First of all identify that error in the given figure is positive. When the error is positive, what is asked in question check clearly correction. So when error is positive, correction must be negative. So in option elimination method, positive things are eliminated. Only negative things are there. So this is how easily we can answer. So option elimination, positive things are gone. Now negative correction. Correction how to do. How many divisions it has gone aside? We cannot calculate because you can see if you are uh, clearly seeing this is the zero line and the 1, 2, 3, it is like this and vernier scale is like this. Vernier scale line is here. This is vernier scale line, this is main scale line. How many number of divisions I am not able to understand. So here comes our trick. Listen carefully. What is the trick is in vernier scale just go on observe which line is exactly coinciding. In this diagram, you can see fifth line is exactly coinciding. Fifth line is exactly coinciding. Just to take that. 5 into LC. LC is how much given? Uh, LC is 0 0.01 centimeters only. Or millimeters. Uh, option is given in millimeters. So 0 0.1 millimeters. So answer negative correction. So minus 0 0.5 millimeters. So this problem, please remember, whenever you are not able to see how many number of divisions it is gone. At that time, search in vernier scale which line is exactly coinciding with main scale. That number into LC. That will be your answer. I hope this one is clear to you all. Find the zero correction. Okay, over. Next, a student measures the diameter of small steel ball using a screw gauge of least count 0 0.01. Directly given least count as 0 0.01 centimeters. Main scale reading MSR. What did I do? Okay. Yes, I am here. Okay. Main scale reading is equal to how much is given? 0 0.01 centi. No. Am I doing wrong? Uh, using screw gauge of least count is written. Main scale reading is no. No, main scale reading I am writing wrong. Okay, main scale reading is 5 mm. But this is in centimeters, this is in millimeters. So convert, it is 50 centimeters. Answer check, answer is in centimeters. So we need to convert into centimeters. Now similarly and zero of circular scale. So circular scale division is 25 divisions. Next screw gauge has a zero error also given. So zero error is 
error is negative so correction must be positive error is po negative correction must be positive diameter we need to find can you find out or not can you solve this problem it is a very straightforward problem so what is the answer please tell me solve and tell me what is the answer quickly solve and tell me what is the answer navin 5 mm 5 mm uh, is not there answer you have to get it in centimeters so just solve this it's over actually correction is correction you need to take as plus 0.004 that is also directly given in centimeters just substitute msr plus csd into lc plus 0.004 over msr substitute I hope now you can substitute 0.529 centimeters, Sherwin and superb. Let us check: is it correct or not? 0.529 centimeters. Yes, it is correct. So I hope you all got confidence today after listening to the class that you can solve problems from vernier calipers and screw gauge. Can you solve or not? Quickly, can you tell me a thumbs up so that I'll be a little bit happier that I have made you all topic clear. Okay. So uh, it is not C. uh vaikundu sami bhupati vaikundu sami it is option d option d you have to get so can you all give me a little thumbs up that you have understood today's topic so that i'll be a little bit happier now this is the stamp what you are asking is qr codes sharvanan thank you so much for the feedback now i'll be a little bit side of that this is the qr code for vedantu english neat it is also called elite telegram channel so this qr code you need to scan so that you will join in the telegram channel next chapter is motion in one dimension after that motion in two dimension projectile motion after that thermal properties of matter after that thermodynamics after that ktg kinetic theory of gases this is what we are going to follow the plan so keep rocking practice the problems that is main important thing to be done so after this class once again sit and try to solve problems from vernier calipers and screw gauge from any material you want so what material to be used i have already discussed in the first class so please go and check if anybody is new to here and please do share this information to all the neat aspirants whom you know so that they can get benefited keep rocking keep hard working and let's meet to in others class in other class thank you all and if my efforts are uh, given a like then please do give a like subscribe and share to as many as possible